Hello guys, uh, my name is Victoria Pavlov and today I will show you how you can draw uh, a basic uh, shapes uh, in Adobe Photoshop Sketch. Um, I have opened my um, Adobe Photoshop Sketch and also you can see that I um, uploaded a cube uh, on the left top uh, corner of my um, document. Uh, now in a Sketch we have all necessary tools to work with. We have all um, brushes, also we have eraser and we have undo and redo button um, feel free to use a default um, photoshop sketch brushes or or you can use um, uh, your own brushes you previously created um, in um, adobe capture cc or you can uh, create uh, your own brush uh, right now um, from uh, Adobe Photoshop Sketch, just click on plus sign and application will uh, switch to Adobe uh, Capture CC and you can create your own brush and after that you will be able to use this brush in Adobe Photoshop Sketch. But today I will use um, default uh, Adobe Photoshop uh, Sketch brush. Uh, um, I will use um, gray uh, color and size of my brush right now is uh, 4.5. Now I will create an uh, extra layer, sketch layer, and we will rename this name, this layer, cube, and that's it. Done. Now um, we will start draw our uh, cube. A digital painting is easier than um, traditional painting just because we have uh, many um, um, ways to do um, same uh, th same thing. Example, if I would like to erase uh, this line, I can use undo button or I can use eraser. It depends on your preferences. Just like that. And now we will start um, drawing another part of our cube, just like that. And the top of our cube. Just like that. Now I will switch uh, to um, eraser tool and I will um, make brush uh, eraser uh, brush size smaller and I will erase a few lines out of my cube just like that see this is uh, what I was talking about we can do it um, using undo button or we can use um, eraser it all depends on your preferences I'm switching back to my um, brush tool I will make my uh, brush size uh, bigger and now we need uh, to apply shading to our cube. Applying shading to our cube, we're creating a 3D dimension because right now my cube looks very flat. Uh, it's not like in real life. So to uh, create a um, 3D dimension um, uh, looks, uh, we need to uh, apply shading. Um, basically, uh, we have three main tones uh, visible in an object, the highlight, the mid-tones, and uh, the shadow. Uh, uh, you need to be careful with it because first of all, you need to identify uh, the light source. My light source uh, comes from uh, above the, my cube, so top of my cube will be uh, the lighter part of my uh, image. And now I will... Um, start applying shading i'm using uh, adobe uh, photoshop sketch uh, adobe um, ipad pro and apple pencil just like that use uh, think about digital painting in same way as you uh, think about um Traditional, it's absolutely the same, uh, but with uh, less mess and uh, more flexibility. 
this is our um, darker part of our uh, cube just like that and now I will bring um, a color uh, of my brush one tone uh, upper just like that and I will start applying shading to my uh, uh, another part side of my um, cube this is uh, will be my uh, mid-tone uh, side just like that no mess easy fast if you want um, to start uh, your uh, drawing experience in Adobe Photoshop um, just uh, send me uh, a tweet on uh, Twitter and I will record a video uh, how you can start um, your uh, painting experience in Adobe Photoshop CC so like that and just more um, shading from the top just like that um, shading uh, a technique depend of your preferences you can use um, you can create uh, realistic shading you can create a uh, cartoon shading you can create art shading all depends of your preferences and depends of your style now I will um, bring my uh, color uh, up a uh, lighter and I will apply uh, start applying shading to my um, highlight part of my cube this is a lightest part of my cube because uh, this uh, part of my cube uh, directly under uh, the light source just like that now I will bring uh, down um, uh, to one shade uh, uh, down uh, color just like that I will make my brush smaller and I will continue working on um, the darkest part of my cube just like that uh, you need to remember uh, basic rules uh, you need to blend colors between a uh, darker and lighter part of your image it's very important So like that and more uh, in the middle if you made any mistake um, just click undo button and if you will click and hold on undo button you will have redo button and here just like that how easy is it uh, why um, you need to uh, start your um, painting drawing experience with basic um, shapes just because uh, without um, now knowledge how to use um apply shading to basic shape you cannot uh, really you cannot uh, start a drawing more complicated um object like face figures or uh, uh pets or anything else and now because we are um uh, using uh, we are working digitally we can uh, start applying a bag uh, uh, background in the same layer or we can uh, create a new layer and we will uh, bring this layer under our cube layer and we will uh, rename this layer to background done and now we will uh, apply a uh, background shading I will bring my uh, tone of my brush uh, up just like that 
I don't want to spend your time in here more than you want to, so I will do it in a very quick uh, way. Just like that. Just because, uh, again, um, uh, we're using digital painting method. Uh, you can do anything you want to. You can manipulate your layers. Uh, you can um, delete your layer if you don't like it. You can um, restock your uh, layer. Everything. Uh, you can do anything in uh, Adobe Photoshop Sketch. So no limitations. Just think about... Um, your uh, document as uh, about canvas or sketchbook it's absolutely same guys no uh, differences just like that we need to apply a more uh, darker tone to this part of our image And like that. Simple, easy, quick. And again, guys, um, I don't want to keep you here um, longer than it's supposed to be. So you can do a better job. Spend your time. Experiment. Just like that. Very, 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 very quick. And uh, now we need to apply a shadow. Just like that. Be careful um, with uh, your uh, light source. You need to understand um, uh, the darkest and lightest, uh, lighter part of your uh, image of your cube, your object. It's very important. Take your time. Just like that. And again, guys, I um, uh, uh, don't want to spend your time more than it's supposed to be, so I'm doing everything in a very quick mode. <laughs> spend your time doing a better job than I do right now. Just like that. More shading in here. I will increase size of my brush. Just like that. And I will bring um tone of my brush down. And like that. It's our table. And now we need to apply a reflection to our table. You can see we have a reflection of our cube. We will apply reflection just in a second. Just like that. It's our cube reflection. But if you can um, see, uh, we have um, Border, I, I could say borders between uh, our cube and reflection. So we will switch uh, to uh, one tone darker or few tones darker, just like that. Gray tone. I will bring down the uh, size of my brush and 
just like that. I made mistake, so I will uh, click undo. I will bring a uh, one more undo, and I will bring a uh, down a uh, shade, a uh, uh, shade color tone, just like that, and just like that. I will bring a down flow opacity. Definitely we can do everything with one uh, brush, like in um, traditional painting, but we are in uh, digital using digital method of painting, so why not? Just like that. Um, I advise to use any stylist um, you can afford. It's much better than your finger. Just like that. And our cube is ready, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, using a Twitter. If you have, um, uh, you want me to record uh, some specific uh, tutorial, same thing, just uh, send me a message or tweet me on uh, Twitter. Thank you guys and I will see you later. Bye.